Last year, we launched a very strategic initiative around Theatre for Young Audiences' work for pre-K through third grade with The Snowy Day and Other Stories by Ezra Jack Keats. So this is the second full production that we've done in the Conservatory Theatre for this age group. Corduroy is the story of um, a little bear in a department store who is named Corduroy. And Lisa and her mother uh, come into the department store on a shopping day and Lisa sees Corduroy um, and just falls in love with him. But Corduroy is missing a little button on his overalls. So Lisa's mother says, no, that bear is broken. That bear's no good. You don't need to waste your money and time on that bear. Corduroy thinks, oh, well, oh, there's something wrong with me. I need to go find my button so that I can have a friend. So at night, Corduroy explores the department store in search of something to sort of complete him so that someone will want to be his friend. And all along, Lisa just wants to be his friend because she loves him and she loves uh, what he is, even without a button. So it's a story of friendship. It's a story of exploration and bravery. It's a story of responsibility. Lisa doing her best to save money to buy Corduroy. It's a story of love and friendship. Yeah. I discovered Corduroy because I would go to the library every weekend with my mom and pick out books. And I was always looking for books that I felt represented in. And this was a joy because there was a main character who looked just like me. It was really impactful for me when I first saw, especially in theater, a woman of color and a woman of power be on stage and I could see myself for the first time. You know, I have a place in this community. It really kind of <laughs> propelled me forward and pushed me to actually pursue this. And I think that if we could give one kid that perspective of, you know what, Shh, I, can, I can be this. I think that theater is really important now because people spend a lot of time entertaining themselves alone with devices, and especially kids with iPads. And it's exciting to have people all in the room together laughing. I think the earlier you can expose children to the magic of theater, the better. It's a great joy to be able to tell this story to kindergartners, right? As they're first starting school and figuring out relationships and figuring out how to work with a teacher, it just feels like such a crucial moment. Everybody should have access to this. Being able to bring Title I schools in who might not be able to afford to see shows on a regular basis, giving them the access to say, yes, this is for you. It's not just for these people, it's for everybody. The great thing that's happening around our theater for young audiences work is that it's in the theater and also around the theater. There is curriculum that teachers receive and books that teachers receive prior to coming to see the show. And then all students are invited to stay for a poster workshop so they really get to dive in and activate the show with the teaching artists even further. And then we also have community performances that we're partnering with the incredible 5x5 five five, um, organization in the city, the libraries, Denver Preschool Program, UC Health. Like there's amazing things that are happening around this.